We're in Washington, D.C. Today I spoke at Holton Arms in Maryland to an incredible group of both middle school girls and high school girls, and it was amazing. I think we have a lot of converts that we talked about the importance of computer science and changing the world. And this organization is a movement about empowering women. We are on our way to D.C. to City Charter School to meet some more amazing, amazing kids. You are never too young to make a difference, right? And to make a change, to put something positive into this world. Always be myself and do what I want to do, you know? Yes. And like, you don't have to get permission or anything from someone else. We're able to assemble 50 young ladies who have an interest in STEM careers, alumni of the Girls Who Code program. Young women come away from the program enthusiastic to learn, uh, very excited about their future with lots of ideas of what they can accomplish in the future. In my opinion, when we're teaching girls how to code, we're saying you, in fact, have a say in your future and the future of our world. I never thought that I could do computer science or girls who code in that summer. I learned about the intersection of like computer science and social justice and feminism. And I learned that a computer scientist can look like me. And I really love Girls Who Code because it presents all these options to young girls who might not know that they're even there. Um, and there's such an underrepresentation of females in STEM fields. This really shows us that you know girls can do it too and we can take over the world. You know, Girls Code, all of our programs are free. All the proceeds of this book goes to our program to teach more girls to code. And so we're, we're always thinking about not only closing the gender gap, but closing the access gap. You know, creating opportunity. It was just such a great, great time for all of us. We interacted with each other, with guest speakers, and we went to workshops, and we really learned what it was like to be not only a girl in engineering, but a girl just, you know, in life and working in the professional world. It's been an amazing five weeks. We've met incredible teachers and parents, like phenomenal girls, but most importantly, we've got these books in the hands of thousands of girls, parents, and teachers. The highs of the tour was the rally when we kicked off in Union Square. It was so amazing. You know, Girls Who Code was born in New York City, and just launching this book, which, you know, is like the heart of what we do in New York City, was amazing. All of the school visits, I think the hardest speech that you have to give is to a group of fifth graders. Like they can smell inauthenticity in a second and they're my hardest customer. And it was amazing feeling vulnerable and feeling like it being intense, but then watching as we went through the tour how we were connecting. More cities, more states, more books. We're going to put that book in the hands of hundreds of thousands of people over the next year.